So we're going to do two things right now. Um, one, I'm going to leave this up on the screen. Uh, Vin, Lauren, I'm going to start the timer here in a second. They're going to have a five minute challenge where they're going to take the cold email that you see here on the screen and they're going to rewrite it on this document. We'll spend the last five minutes reviewing. While they're doing that, I'm going to answer some Q&A here. So if you have some questions, make sure to drop it into the Q&A section. I'll get to as many as I can. Uh, then, Florin, you two ready? You got any questions? Anything like that? You pumped up? You good? Good your coffee? Me. All that kind of stuff? Okay. All right. We're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. We are up on time, you guys. So we got five minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see those hands. Um, Florin, let's start with yours real quick. We got to be quick with this. Let's uh, talk about your email. So how did you find this email to rewrite, by the way? Is it difficult? Easy? What did you think? Uh, it was challenging to do it in, in five minutes. But again, like once you have a framework in place and you do enough of these, you can kind of get used to it. I think what I was going back and forth with at the end was like the subject line. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, 93 words. AI sensor driven approach that provides officers like feedback. Yep, you incorporated social proof into here. Just, I should have known last sick days or employee sick days. Messed up the subject. The thing, that it, the thing that I was kind of unsure of too is like, what's the outcome that they provide so, for the company? Yeah. So, like, increase in long term health behavior is a very fluffy word. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah. Fewer sick days is, I guess, like a real quantifiable thing. But again, you have to somehow tie that to productivity. And that's, uh, again, I don't know what this company actually does. What I would typically do is actually go to the case studies and look to see if there's any metrics or like, what is the so what for reaching out? Yeah. But I pretty much just used the, uh, the information I was given in the original email. Here's the original email again. I should have showed you guys this here. So look at that. I mean, he went from this crazy long email to what we saw there below. Cool. We got three minutes left. You guys bid. Give us the uh, explanation here. What did you? How did you come up with this? Did you find it easy, hard? Um, I think I just found it hard because I, I don't think I really understood the product. But that being said, I think one of the easy things you could do, given this uh, data would be public is look at look on LinkedIn to see how many employees are in that office. So I just started off with like something like that. So notice your colleague in office, whatever grew to 50 employees, congrats. And then the challenge with having a high growth office might be like, you know, in, in difficulty to integrate healthy working habits. And then what that leads to. So if it's untreated, it could lead to a drop in productivity and burnout. I uh, used that um, case study they had there, you know, UBS relevant company to maybe the one we're reaching out to use deep care. And then I, instead of saying, Hey, this is deep care, AI, whatever, I just did the outcome. So they partnered with deep care to provide, you know, whatever individual coaching for healthy habits for employees and it boosted productivity. And instead of like asking to meet, I just asked if they would be interested to see an overview of our services. Did you two are rock stars? Here's, here's the original email again for you guys. Yeah. Maybe the other thing to call out, like in this one, so first of all, social proof is good, but you don't need to name like 10 companies. Everyone yeah. knows Mercedes Benz. Everybody knows like yeah. uh, L'Oreal or something. So one or two is fine. Yeah. And then you don't need to do like, you know, would you be open to a brief 30 minute call? You could literally just say open to a 30 minute call or even better make it interest based. And then if you're not the right contact, could you kindly forward to the right person that you, if you want to do something like that, I think the PS is a perfect place for that because it mentally separates yeah. the email from, uh, that last sentence. So just a few ideas there. Totally. Dude, just give you two a hand there. That's like doing that shit on the spot and in, in, in less than five minutes is, is tough. So uh props to you two. 